a regular old desktop Linux distro, Ubuntu has a fairly long support period. Nine months for its standard releases, with new releases coming out every six months. And then with the LTS releases, five whole years of support. And that's without considering the commercial support. This adds another five years on top of that, giving you 10 years of support. Now, that's outside of the scope for the regular user. Most people are just going to install the LTS, maybe keep it around for a couple of years, and then move on from that. But having the option there is really nice. But even Ubuntu has its limitations. Now, this is going to seem like a random unrelated segue, but there is a really cool project called CKB Next. This is an RGB driver for Linux. To be more specific, this is an open source driver for Corsair keyboards and mice. It aims to bring the features of Corsair's proprietary CUE software to Linux operating systems. Now you can interact with this directly, but most people nowadays are probably using it through a piece of software called Open RGB. This is a very generic RGB configuration tool that doesn't just work for Corsair, it works for Logitech and all of these other devices that now have open source drivers, or in some cases, are actually supported by the developer, but that's usually not the case. But what in the world does that have to do with Ubuntu? Well, back in 2020, this bug report was made on the project. Installation fails due to missing release files. At least initially, this seems like a totally normal bug report. Now for context, the latest version of Ubuntu was 20.04 Focal Fossa. That is going to be very important in just a moment. But let's have a read of the bug report. Attempting to install via latest release using sudo add apt repository ppa tatakis ckb next, where I encounter this error. The repository archive.ubuntu.com slash ubuntu a nyric release does not have a release file. Updating from such a repository can't be done securely and is therefore disabled by default. See app secure man page for repository creation and use configuration details. Also try the git master version and building from source but they all experience errors in a similar vein. This sounds like a totally normal bug report for a totally normal issue. There's clearly some issue with the PPA, it can't be downloaded, something is going on here. But you might not have noticed one very important detail. One detail that makes you realize that something weird is going on with this person's system. A Nyric release. Now, the way that Ubuntu handles its repos is you have the name of where you're downloading it from, the name of the release to download, and then what stream to download. So this is downloading from archive.ubuntu.com for the Nyric version and the release stream. Now, if this was set up correctly, this would say focal. What is a Nyric? Here we have a list of the currently supported Ubuntu versions. In 2024, Focal Fossa is still supported, that's going to be until 2025, and then its actual EOL with the commercial support is 2030. But we're going a lot older than this. So this is the end of life distros. We have things like 90.10 for Ian Ermine, 1904 Disco Dingle, Cosmic Cuttlefish, Artful Aardvark, and then all the way down here, a Nyric Ocelot 11.10. This bug report was from 2020, and this is not an LTS release. This is a standard release. And a developer on the project noticed this little detail. Ubuntu 11.10 reached end of life almost seven years ago. Upgrade ASAP, we do not and will not support old versions. Now it's one thing to support the old version. Say you're on 20.04 as the current version and you support 18.04. That makes sense. That's still being supported by Canonical. But this hasn't been supported by Canonical in seven years. So of course, the dev marked this as closed, completed. And that should have been the end of it. There shouldn't have been any more here, because this wasn't a bug. But then they said, I'm on Ubuntu 18. So clearly something doesn't add up here, and it seems like a really weird thing to lie about. Like, why would you just say, oh yeah, I'm not actually on this ancient version of Ubuntu, 
I'm on a newer version. Like, that's just, it just seems weird to say that. So it seems more likely that something is horribly broken with their Ubuntu install and their sources list. And this dev said, Aniric is the code name for 11.10 Aniric Ocelot. Either you had that and never updated, or you've somehow broken your apt installation. But it's not that difficult of a thing to fix anyway. The part that's odd here is just how this happened in the first place. Okay, let's break down how this sources list thing actually works. Here is an example from Bionic Beaver. This is more like what Bionic Beaver is supposed to look like. Now, we could use an older example. We could use a newer example. It's going to look basically the same regardless, with a little bit of information being changed. So the first field we have is the type field. Now, for the most part, this is just going to say deb. You can have other things here. There is deb source, but for all intents and purposes, it's just going to say download the deb. Then we have the location to download from. This user is clearly using an unofficial mirror, but your sources list might say something like archive.ubuntu.com. This is completely irrelevant to the version of Ubuntu you are downloading from. The mirrors contain a bunch of different versions. We specify the version with the next part. In this case, it says Bionic. It might say something like dash updates instead though. Now, if you're on a Bionic system, if you're on a Lunar system, it doesn't matter which version you're on. This needs to say the version you are currently on. Because if you're running Bionic, for example, and change it to Lunar, even though your distro is still a Bionic distro, it's going to try to download the Lunar packages instead. And those packages are likely not going to work. And then the last part specifies the components of that version to download. In this case, we're saying main and restricted. What they mean are completely irrelevant to what we're talking about today, though. The part that we care about is this bit right here where it says Bionic or Bionic Updates or Bionic something else. This is what it should have said for a Bionic system. Now, I'm just assuming this person is on Bionic because they say 18. They don't specify 18.04 or 18.10, but considering that 18.10 would be EOL by this point, I'm just going to assume they're on 18.04. But this is the part that really confuses me. Let's just assume for a second, this person had an 11.10 system and then updated it over the years to eventually be running on 18.04. That's totally normal if you've been using Ubuntu for a very long time, you've probably just kept updating your system rather than doing a complete reinstall. But if this person was doing that, that meant they had an Aniric sources file for seven whole years and it never caused an issue. That wouldn't happen. That would have broken a long time ago. It would have broken the first release after Aniric. And when you update to a new version of Ubuntu, it updates your sources list to make sure this problem doesn't happen. Now, since they didn't share it, I don't know what their full sources list looks like. This is all we see of it. But I do have a couple of theories of what could have possibly maybe happened here. I'm going to make the assumption this was probably not an Ubuntu bug. If it was, I have a feeling I would have heard about it by now, or it would be documented somewhere online. So let's just assume it's the user made some sort of weird mistake. Maybe this user was running a Nyric Ocelot for a really, really long time. They were running it for like, you know, six, seven years until 1804 came out. Now, when 1804 came out, they updated to it. But along with updating to it, they copied their sources list along and made use of that. Maybe they had some modifications to it that they wanted to bring along and didn't realize that they didn't update the Aniric part to say whatever 1804 was supposed to be. That's one thing I could see happening, but it seems weird to me that you would stick on something like Aniric Ocelot for just that long. My second theory seems a bit more likely. This user had absolutely no idea how to modify their sources list. So like any good Linux user is going to do, they went and watched a tutorial. They didn't read the documentation. Maybe they read a tutorial, 
but they certainly didn't read exactly what you're supposed to do because documentation is hard and tutorials, we all like tutorials, but the problem with the tutorial is oftentimes they get made and then never get updated. And considering the sources list doesn't really change that often, it wouldn't be that surprising to find a tutorial that still references a Nyric Ocelot, especially if you go back a couple of years. So this user either blindly copied what was in the tutorial or didn't read what it was saying properly, and they ended up with a sources list that was correct, just correct for a different version of Ubuntu. This led to a broken version of apt, and we get the problem we have here. Now, sadly, this user never commented back again. So I don't know exactly what happened, but I'm assuming they went and fixed the problem. They have a working sources list, but I really, really wish I got to see what it looked like because I guarantee it was a giant mess. And I'm almost certain that they did something really, really wrong with it. Just the fact that a Nyric is there gives me an indication of what I might be looking at. But let me know your thoughts down below. Have you ever done something dumb like this? Have you updated to a new version of Ubuntu, brought in an old sources list, and were like, why is my system broken? Maybe you did it on another distro. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. So if you like the video, like the video. Really like the video? You want to become one of these amazing people over here? Check out our Patreon, Scrubs, Libera link in the description down below. That's going to be it for me, and... Oh, 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 Nyrick.